and still set afloat in truck distillery or quarry, haunting the engines in revenge for his accident, resulting in being torn apart that dreadful night. Ha ha ha, are you serious? You're gonna make a scary story, at least make it believable. No one has ever talked about a flatbed ghost truck around here. Hey, it's just for fun. So do you have any spooky stories to tell? Well, I have one. But it's a real one. Let's hear it. I bet it won't scare me. <laughs> well, before I worked here, the railway I was at was very small. So most of the talk was about the much bigger one not far from it. I didn't know much of the engines there, but the one I heard most about was a blacksmith engine. People called him the masked engine because he wore a mask to protect his face from flying sparks. He loved his job. It was his dream and he did it perfectly. He was the manager's favorite engine, but the other engines didn't like this. They thought he made them look stupid. They were jealous. They would often call him names and be rude to him. They wouldn't let this bother him. He always carried on with his work until one day the other engines went too far. They tried to pull a prank on him, which resulted his shed being caught on fire and the blacksmith engine was tragically burned and killed in the accident. The other engines didn't want to get in trouble for it, so they blamed him and the manager believed them. He was ashamed of the engine and sent his body for scrap that night. But the driver of the dead engine was filled with rage from the manager believing the body engines. He took the engine's body somewhere and disappeared. People believe that he went to the UK because nothing was heard or seen from them ever since. Until about a month later, some trucks were in a siding and they heard the bully engines and their drivers in the sheds. It was pretty foggy that night so they couldn't see the shed doors. The engines and their drivers were telling jokes to each other and listening to music until the laughter was quickly stopped by they thought it was an animal or something, so one of them went to go scare it off. But what they didn't know is what was on the other side of those doors wasn't going to be scared off. As the shed doors opened, the mist started to clear. It wasn't the blacksmith engine. Well, at least not anymore. What was there was a vengeful, modified and undead engine with eyes described by the trucks, more evil than the devil himself with the manager's ripped off head attached to his buffer. All the trucks could do was watch the masked engine charge into the sheds and see their blood and intestines splatter all over the windows and hear the screams of the engines and the drivers being finished off by being burned alive with his flamethrower. <laughs> to the railway and they will love me and make me the new number two after Stanley has put out a business for his rough writing. 